Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to screenshot on the iPad Pro. So there are three ways. The first way is you just want to find the power button, which is on the left hand side, and then the volume up button, which is on the top of the iPad Pro. What you want to do is you just want to press these two buttons together. So just do a hard press like this and do it quickly. So just tap it. And just like that, you can see a screenshot has been taken. Now, the next way is using the Apple Magic Keyboard. So if I move the camera down here, all you need to do is you need to hold down Command, Shift, plus three, and you can see a screenshot has been taken. The third way is using the Apple Pencil. So you just want to get your Apple Pencil and you want to swipe up diagonally from the bottom right or the bottom left. So let's do bottom right and you can see just like that, you swipe up, then you release and you can see a screenshot has been taken. Now you can also do the same from the bottom left. So let me just show that off as well. Now, when you take a screenshot, you can see right here, you're going to have a preview. When you tap on the preview, you're going to be brought to this page. In this page, you can edit the screenshot. So you can, uh, you know, annotate on the screenshot. You don't need the Apple Pencil in order to do this. You can also see here these uh, boxes. You can drag these around and this will crop the image to how you would like it. You also have all these other options as well. If you have the Apple Pencil, you can double tap and it will switch between the current tool you're using to the eraser. So you can see you can erase stuff as well. Once you're done editing the recording, you can either tap on uh, done here or you can tap on the share icon and you can share this uh, to your social media, to email, all that good stuff. You can even print it if you'd like. Now, I recommend you just tap on done, save the photos, save the files or delete screenshot. So what I'm going to do so I'm going to do a bit of annotation like this. I'm going to tap on done, save the photos and let's open up the photos and let's take a look at this. So you can see here is a screenshot that I took and you can see the full annotations here as well. If you would like to do extra editing, there is the edit button right here and you have all these options available for you as well. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.